Hello and welcome to the 11th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at drop downs. You'll be using the source code from the 6th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link at, in the description. We have looked at the grid system that Bootstrap provides plus the rows and columns, but Bootstrap doesn't finish there. No, it doesn't indeed. It provides several UI components to help create your next awesome website. We will now take a look at the drop down component. A drop down for those that don't know is a button essentially which when clicked doesn't usually take you to another page or anything like that but shows more info and more buttons. This is a great way of providing, providing loads of functionality but on demand instead of cluttering up the interface. So bootstrap like everything else makes it super easy to implement so let's open our index.html and code away. So what we're going to do is scroll down here. We will do it just after we've done our row. You can put it within the row, you can put it within the div. That's a very powerful thing to do because obviously you'll resize and you'll adjust according to the grid and that'll be an extra task for you guys. So what we're going to do, first of all, is zoom in. So we're going to create a div as you always do. And it's going to have a class. Let's see if you can guess it. Of drop down. That's what I love about Bootstrap, it just makes it simple, it's just called drop down. And in here, oh, there's going to be a button, oops, daisy, just can't get the formatting right, there's going to be a button. And in this button, we're going to have a class, or oh, it's going to have a class called it's going to have btn, stands for button, btn-default. Again, this is all built into Bootstrap. We're not going to be coding any of these classes. I'm going to do drop down dash toggle. I think you can guess what this button is for. It toggles your drop down. We're going to have a type, and the type is going to be button. The ID is going to be drop down menu one. This is if you ever wanted to access it. I'm maybe via jQuery or JavaScript. I'm going to do data dash toggle equals drop down. There we go. So what we're going to do is just click down here, scroll over. I'm going to type in here, click me to reveal more. This is basically what the drop down button will say. Now we're going to put a span class. This is going to be called carrot. And the carrot basically is that sort of little triangle that suggests visually to the user you can click it and something will come down. Now the task, extra task, what I want you to do is once you've got this working, remove the class carrot and see what it looks like and see what happens. So that's the end of the button. Now let's just create the items within our drop down. And to do that, what you need is unordered list. This is going to have a class of drop down menu. Its role is going to be menu. It has one job. That's it. It's going to be area dash labeled by equals drop down menu one. And within here, what we are going to put is list items, which are basically going to be our buttons that appear when we click the drop down. So we're going to do LI. And this is going to have a role. It's going to be presentation. Again, mess around with these values, take them away, add them, and see what happens. That's the best way to learn. And then we're going to put, ooh, no. no, no. I'm going to put A, so we're going to have an anchor tag, and we're going to put a roll of menu item, put a tab index, and the tab index will be minus one. We'll demonstrate the tab index once we have this all coded. We're going to put a href. For the href, we're going to keep it simple and just put hash. So you can make this link to another page on your website, make a link to Google, do whatever you want, how you do with normal uh, anchor tags. And within here, you can just write whatever you want your button to display. I'm going to put home page. 
And now what we're going to do is just copy and paste this. And the things that we're going to change is simple. We're really only going to change this. So it's just going to say login. This is going to say contact us. And this is going to say about us. So let's, we have saved that now. Let's just minimize this, open up a tab in our browser or a window. Open up index.html. And there we go, we have our drop down. So you see, click here to reveal more. That little triangle there is the class carrot that we added, the carrot. So check it out. Mess around with the carrot, remove it, see what happens. I think you can probably guess what will. If we click drop down, or we click the drop down, we have the drop down that appears and it says home page, login, contact us, about us. If we click one of these, because we just put a hash in it, it just switches back to this page and it goes to the top. It doesn't really do anything. So what I wanted to do, actually, yeah, I wanted to show you the tab. So if I click tab now, as you can see, it switches between the URL, switches between the drop down, URL, that's it. And the reason for that is because we put minus one as the tag. But if we put, let's say, one, two, three, four, let's zoom in so you can see it a little better. We put one, two, three, four, instead of minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one. Save this, refresh. Now if we, oh, that's weird. Actually, one second, let me just remove that. Okay, let's go back to here. See what it's moaning about. Go back, refresh. That is, I mean, like, really, really weird. Why well, that just is refusing to open. Okay, that's, okay, now you just seem to be a dodgy bug there. Save this back again. Refresh. And if we click it, now that is just, I mean, like, extremely weird. Yeah, see, see that opens. I don't know, that, oh, that is so weird. If you just reopen it, if you make a change, it, if you make a change and it doesn't work, just reopen it, it should be okay. Now, if I click tab, as you can see, the tab is going through these menu items as it is with the URL, then the homepage, login, contact, about us. So this allows you to set the order of the tab. But if you set it to minus one, it basically doesn't do anything. So mess around with the classes, mess around with everything, and because that's, that is the best way to learn. The next tutorial will cover drop-down headers. Also, actually, as an extra task, put what we've done here inside the row, put it inside the div with the column, large, column, medium, and see how it reacts when you resize the browser. But yeah, like I was saying, in the next tutorial, we will cover drop-down headers. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.